How's it going, everybody? My name is Lucian. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a very unsatisfactory server on Linux with the 1.0 release. So, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser. And I'm going to search for Steam CMD. And then for me, it's going to be the first link. And then I'm going to click on Linux. And then I will be using Ubuntu in this video. So this is the line. These are the lines that I need. So let's go ahead and SSH into our server by opening up a command prompt. SSH, solution, which is our user, and then our server. And we're going to hit enter. And we're going to type in our password. I'll clear all this out. I'm going to make this bigger for everybody. All right. So first thing I always like to do is make sure my server is up to date by doing sudo update. Type in our password. All right. Now we're going to install the dependencies. So we're going to go back here. Uh, I'm going to copy this. Oops. Just the first line of right here. So control C, go back to my terminal, right click to paste it and then hit enter. And then this is gonna ask me to press enter to continue. So I'm gonna do that. All right, now that that's finished, we are going to install CMD. So we're going to go back here, highlight this, control C to copy it, right click inside the terminal to paste it, and then hit enter. We're going to hit Y for yes. Then when this pops up, we're just going to hit tab, and then you see the OK got highlighted in red. We'll hit enter on that. And then we'll use our arrow keys to go down one to I agree and then enter on that and we'll wait for this to finish. All right, now that it is finished. If yours is not finished, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video and catch up with me. All right, now that you're cut up, I'm going to clear this out. Now, what we need to do is I'm gonna open up the ports for the firewall while we're in the sudo user. So since 1.0 release, we only need one port, which is 7777, and it needs to be on TCP and UDP. So if you're running this locally, uh, your, your firewall will be disabled uh, automatically. It, it comes disabled. So we'll do sudo ufw allow 22. This will, this will allow us to continue to SSH into our server without getting interrupted. If you're running, if you're renting a Linux server, your firewall is not gonna be disabled by default. It will be enabled and you don't have to worry about port 22 because that's how you're connected to the server right now. So now we also need the 7777. I forgot, allow 7777. Hit enter. And then for us who are running the the next server locally, we'll do the sudo ufw enable, hit enter, then hit y for yes, and now we're done. And we can look at that by doing sudo ufw status, enter, and then you see the ports that we allowed right here. So we're going to go ahead and clear all this out. Now we are going to create a new user. So we'll do sudo add user. I'll call mine satisfactory. And then a password for that user. I'm gonna confirm the password. Just hit enter on all this stuff. And then is this information correct? We're gonna hit Y for yes and then hit enter. That's done. Now we're going to switch that user by doing SU dash satisfactory. And then we're gonna hit enter. And the password that we just set for that user all right, and I want to clear this all out so it's nice and clean for you guys. All right, now we are going to make a new directory with mkdrr, we'll call it server. Feel free to call yours whatever you want. 
And then we're going to CD into that directory by doing CD server. And then we'll do a PWD to print the working directory. And then we're going to highlight this with Control C and then highlight it, and then Control C to copy it. And then we're going to do Steam CMD. This is our first time launching Steam CMD. So it has to download all the files. This will vary depending on your connection. All right, now that that is done, if yours is not, feel free to go ahead and pause the video and catch up with me. Now that you're caught up, what we're going to do is do force underscore install underscore DRR for directory and then space, right click, and then I'm going to add the trailing slash before we hit enter. Then we're going to do login anonymous. Then while that's logging in, we need the app ID. So we'll do a satisfactory server app ID Steam DB. Just do a quick search for that. In my case, it is the top link. So this is the website you should be on. So this is the app ID we want. So we're gonna highlight that and copy it. We'll go back to our server here. We're logged in. So now we'll do app underscore update space. Then we're going to paste the app ID, hit space again, then type in validate and then hit enter. This will also vary depending on your internet connection. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this to finish. All right, now that that is finished, if yours isn't, feel free to pause the video and catch up to me. All right, now that you're caught up, we're gonna type in exit, hit enter. And then if we do a quick LS, you can see our files right here. All right, so if I clear all this out, what I'm gonna do now is create a screen with screen space dash capital S. Call yours whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine server and then hit enter. Now that we're in a new screen, I'm going to start a server with dot forward slash factory server sh now before in the video that i uploaded recently uh with the 1.0 release you no longer need to use the dash multi-home if you're using ipv4 so we're just going to go ahead and hit enter and run the server all right so the rest of the setup is involved in the actual game so let's go ahead and open up the game. All right, now that our game is open, we're going to go to server manager, click on add server, and then the server IP address. Yours will be different, obviously. Just type in your server's IP address, leave the port as default. We're gonna hit confirm. When this pops up, we're going to hit confirm again. Type in our name, call it Lucian's server. Call yours whatever you want. Type in your your admin password. Hit continue, confirm I mean. Now we need to create the game. I'm gonna choose grassy fields. Feel free to choose whatever starter zone you want. And then the save. Call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to hit start game. When this pops up, we're gonna hit confirm. And from my experience, this does take a while. So we're going to go ahead and wait this out. All right. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and hit join game. And just like that, we are in the game with the 1.0 launch. Now, if you want to have your server be accessed from all over the place, you know, so if your friends aren't on the same network, you will need a port forward, uh, port 777, seven, seven, into your router. Unfortunately, I don't go over that kind of stuff in these videos just because everybody's router is different. So it's kind of hard to do all that per, per everyone's router. 
I'm sure if you just do a quick YouTube search for whatever your router is, then how to pull forward, if you'll find a video if you don't know how to do it. And that's it. You have a 1.0 server. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.